This is the final post of DCM, which we will shut down all operations until further notice. Brandon Truax is a 40-year-old jet-setting beauty mogul whose strange exploits over the last year got him kicked out as chief executive of Desiem, the skincare company he founded in Toronto. He was born in Iran, studied computer science at the University of Waterloo, and went into business with an older, more experienced mentor. Desiem was the second company Truax founded with Pasquale Cusano, a Vancouver jeweler by 2017, they had attracted a large investment from Estee Lauder companies. Now the company was split three equal ways and anticipating rapid expansion. Desiem was growing fast with millennial shoppers especially, who liked its brand, The Ordinary, with its clear information about active ingredients. In early 2018, he started making worrying videos on the company Instagram page. Some videos alleged massive financial fraud. Some seemed manic, others seemed completely normal. Truax was erratic and mercurial, but widely regarded as a charismatic creative genius. A co-CEO was in place, acting as a stabilizing force, until Truax fired her. In May 2018, at a hotel in London, Soho, he took crystal meth in an effort to prove he could still remain focused on his suspicions about financial fraud. Then he called police on himself. He was arrested and hospitalized, but released. In early October, he sent a company-wide email ordering staff to shut Desiem down. They obeyed. Millions of dollars were at risk of being lost. His partners went to court to protect their investments. After a short hearing, Truax was removed as CEO of Desiem and banned from its social media accounts. He was also told to stay away from Estee Lauder offices and its chairman, Leonard Lauder. Not long after, in London, he was hospitalized again after interacting strangely with police near Whitehall. He was released after less than two weeks. Within a couple of hours, he had already filmed himself being kicked out of the Desium store in Covent Garden. He has said he intends to go back to court, but has not yet retained a lawyer.